Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, The Town Watch. My name is Josh Town. Thank you for stopping by today. We have another watch from the brand Undone. What comes to your mind when you think of Undone watches? For me, I think of a lot of unique watches and I think of a lot of collaborations and that's what we have in today's watch. This is a collaboration from Undone and a company called Simple Union. Uh, they did a two watch collaboration. One of the watches was limited to 300 pieces. I believe it's long gone and sold out. But this one is not limited and it's a pretty unique piece with some Japanese art that is mixed in with the dial that is going on here. And I'm excited to talk about that in today's review and show you this cool looking piece from Undone. So please give the video a like and let's jump into the review. All right, well here it is, the Undone and Simple Union collaboration called the Urushi. Now, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Someone who speaks Japanese can let me know down in the comments if that's way off. Maybe I'm close. I'm not really sure, but here is the watch. Let's jump in to some specs and features on it. I'm not sure about the model number, but they are using that tried and true Seiko NH35. There is a sapphire crystal here. It is double dome sapphire. Case material is stainless steel. Case diameter, as I measured it, is 37.5 millimeters. Case thickness comes in at 12.4 millimeters. Lug to lug distance comes in at 43.4 millimeters and the lug width is 20 millimeters. The band material is an Italian leather. Water resistance here is 50 meters. Weight is about 58 grams. And the MSRP price for this watch from Undone is 445 US dollars. So I've had this watch for a little while now, unboxed it a few weeks ago. And uh, my initial thoughts are is that it's a pretty good looking watch. Now, sure, it's unique in its case shape and the dial design that is going on here, but I honestly like the looks of this watch. I like the case shape. It is unique. You don't see it all the time, but I think it looks really, really good. And it feels like a solidly built watch and I'm quite impressed with the finishing that is going on here as well. Uh, the case I would say is probably a cushion shape. Uh, the finishing as you can see is a mix of polished and brushed surfaces. You get a nice polished bezel area or brushed bezel area here with polishing going down on the lugs and this uh, beveled edge here on the side as well and then with the case back you also get some polishing here and you can see that it's a nice open case back screw down and you can see the NH35 not much to look at with the movement itself but uh, you do get that see-through case back here anyway uh, the crown is about 6.9 millimeters as I measured it's a good size crown as you can see there are no crown guards here it is a signed crown and it is screw down as well. Uh, you can notice that there's no date here. So there is a ghost date position on this watch since it's using the NH35 movement. Might bother some people, doesn't bother me too much, uh, but just keep that in mind. And also in my unboxing, if you remember and saw that video, there was some blue residue on the crown when I unboxed it, reached out to Undone, and they just said that was uh, um, some leftovers from those blue stickers that sometimes you see on watches, especially on the crown. And so some of that residue got left behind, and really all I had to do was kind of take this wood pointer and scrape it off, and it came off very easily. But they did, did mention that they're going to try and do better, and they made a note of that for quality control in the future. So, hey, who knows? Maybe these reviews are helping out not only the viewers, but also the companies as well. Uh, that would be a very good thing. 
Now there is a bezel here, I guess you would say. There's no raised bezel, uh, as you can see on some other watches. Uh, but there is this pronounced vertical brushing going on that you can see, and it really uh, it accentuates that bezel area where the bezel would be uh, on this watch and, and makes a nice contrast with that deep brushing and then the polished surfaces as well. Now we have to talk about the dial of this watch. It is really the star of the show. It's a unique dial. It's actually a black enamel painted dial. This finish simulates the look of black lacquerware and it's inspired by the art of Urushi as you can see written on the dial. That's the name of this watch and that is actually in art form. So what is Urush Urushi? Well, I'm glad you asked. I'm going to read a short quote. There's a lot more information, but I'm going to read a short quote on the art of Urushi. So according to Undone, Urushi refers to the highly prized Japanese lacquer and traditional coating technique based on the use of sap harvested from the poisonous Urushi tree. Distinguished by its exceptional sheen and unique depth of color, created through the patent or patient, excuse me, application of successive thin layers over long periods of time, sometimes years and even generations, it is regarded possibly as the blackest of black known to the ancient world. And it is used across tableware, furniture, armor, and even caskets. So there's a little bit about Urushi. Now also incorporated into the dial of this watch is another art form, and I, I know I'm going to butcher this name, uh, Makai. Makai. So what is Makai? I'm going to also read a short quote about it there as well so we can learn together what's going on here with this dial. Now again, there's a lot more information. This is just a quick quote, but what is the art of Makai. Makai literally translating to sprinkled picture is a Japanese lacquer decoration technique in which pictures patterns and letters are drawn with lacquer on the surface of Urushi lacquerware and then metal powder such as gold or silver is sprinkled on the lacquered surface using bamboo tubes and soft brushes of various sizes for drawing fine lines. So that's the art of Makai. Now that we know what Urushi and Makai are, we can see how they're incorporated into this dial right here. So it's pretty unique how they've incorporated those two Japanese art forms and put them together right here on the dial of this watch. As Undone typically likes to do in a lot of their watches, we see they're using a California dial here, but instead of uh, Roman numerals up top, uh, they've chosen to use kanji characters, which are, uh, as I understand it, Japanese writing using Chinese characters. So you can see there's four different characters there at the top of the dial. Overall, the dial is really unique and it's very nicely done. You get the gold color going on. You get that sprinkle of gold flakes, uh, at least the appearance of what gold flakes would be on the dial and a lot of gold going on. You get the Mercedes hands in that gold color as well. And I think it's a good looking dial in my opinion. There is loom on this watch. I'm not sure exactly what loom they're using, but I'm going to charge it up and we'll get a loom shot. All right, well, you get a nice green colored loom on the hands. Nothing on the second hand, but on the indices as well. And it, uh, it's not coming in too bad. Seems like off camera it's fading a little bit quicker than I would hope, but not too bad. So let's talk about the strap that it comes on real quickly. Uh, it is an Italian leather strap. It has this kind of dark brown color to it. 
and there are quick release spring bars here as well which i feel is always a plus i'd like to see more uh, bigger brands incorporate the quick release like citizen and seiko i don't see it too much from them but i'm thankful that companies like undone put it on pretty much everything that they put out so that's a good touch the buckle here is nicely done as well it's very solid you get a couple different types of finishes uh, on on this buckle with brushing and some polishing uh, edges here and it's it's solid and it's signed as well with undone i'm going to jump back in front of the camera and share my verdict about this urushi watch from undone if you're familiar with Undone, you know that they make some unique timepieces. They're not your run-of-the-mill type company that just copies and pastes from other companies and does what everybody else is doing. No, they do things outside of the box, and this Urushi watch is no exception to it. I was happy to get this watch and learn about some of that Japanese art that we talked about here that is going on with the dial. I think it's pretty cool how they incorporate that kind of stuff into watches like this. And honestly, I am impressed by the build quality of this watch and the fit and finish is really top notch. I don't think you would be disappointed if something like this were in your collection if it interests you. I think undone watches don't interest everybody, uh, but I do encourage you to check out their website. If this watch doesn't interest you from them, there's probably something on their website that does. They do a lot of unique things, so I encourage you to check them out. But please, let me know down in the comments what you think about this Urushi watch. Is this something that you could see yourself wearing? I'd love to hear your comments down below. And if you liked the video today, Please leave a like, let us know, it really helps us out and we really appreciate it. But thank you for tuning in to the video today here on the Town Watch. We'll see you next time.